today we're looking at a, a pruning saw here from Centurion. This is their 10 inch pruning saw and it's a very nice, uh, nicely balanced, very lightweight uh, little saw for going and trimming trees. Now you've probably seen us do some videos on loppers and uh, different trimmers and cutters what have you. When you get into the situation as a homeowner you've got branches that are getting to that inch and a half you know, really an inch greater. Loppers can do it, but you need to look at something like a little pruning saw. A pruning saw is different than a hand saw that you would use, say, to cut boards. A pruning saw has got a much more aggressive tooth, and it's going to be ripping a little bit more than a, a saw that you would use, like a crosscut saw that you would use to, you know, build a birdhouse. This can cut two by fours also, but it has more aggressive teeth for that rip. Another thing, some people are like, oh, I'll just buy one of these at a garage sale because, well, they're everywhere. One thing to look at, and uh, on a Centurion, they've got, of course, really nice sharp teeth, and you've got nice beveled angle. Let me see if I can get up there. And there. You can actually see that the teeth have got little bevels and such. This is really designed for fast cutting. It also has the offset. If you can see that where one tooth is kind of uh, going one, one side, the next tooth is going the other way. That offset is what's needed, and it's a little more aggressive in, in the pruning saws than it would be, again, in that crosscut saw, because you need to have it for green wood when you're cutting through. You need to make a nice kerf so that the blade will go through and not bind. So finding one of these at a garage sale, while sometimes could be a great deal, many times the teeth might be dull or damaged, or they may not be offset as much as you need them to be. So if you're going to be doing quite a bit of trimming, I would recommend picking up a new one because they're not that expensive and it's going to be something that you will be with you for a long time as long as you keep it out of the dirt and don't hit any metal with it, like any nails or something. Now, one cool thing about the Centurion products is on the back, they have got recommendations about how to prune, when to prune, and then giving you a, an actual photo of, or a, a little diagram here of how to cut. Now, we take a look at this little diagram. They're showing that you do an undercut and cut down and then a one right outside the collar of the of the tree there, the branch collar but that first cut would would require a person to be cutting like this up into the branch and that for a lot of people who aren't really comfortable with a saw this is kind of a scary cut to be doing so if it's possible my recommendation would be to make that you actually do it a little differently going out on a limb farther if you can reach it safely is to cut and take some of the weight off out here and then cut and take some of the weight off here. So that way, instead of making, this would be cut one, cut two, and then this would become cut three. You really don't have to undercut because you're taking, the weight's been taken off as you come in. It's more work, but sometimes more work is better than having this going and then you know, kind of freaking yourself out a little bit by having the blade coming up at your face. So a cut over here, cut over here, take the weight off, that cut there. Then I would still leave part of it here so you can make a nice clean cut We'll call it a factory cut, for lack of a better way to decide, but a nice clean cut right outside that branch collar. So that way the tree is in as good a shape as possible, and you're not going to have it where you have too much weight up here, and you end up ripping down. You rip some of the into that collar a little bit, and you'll have some of the bark that might rip down and pull off here. That's an area that can cause a lot of trouble with your trees. So make sure that you're cutting it, taking the weight off here. Any ripping can happen back here. And then you've got just a little short piece so you can make that final clean cut, and that's going to give you your best cut and your healthiest tree in the long run. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out this particular set of pr uh, this pruning saw here from Centurion. Again, this is the 10-inch version that we're looking at here. Um, little spots to hang it up, keep it out of way. The little little trigger there to keep it so that it doesn't pop open on you by mistake. Some really neat stuff here from Centurion.